want to talk a little bit about single leader trees, especially conifers, and I'm going to use this redwood as an example. A nicely shaped, proper growing redwood should have a single leader that goes all the way to the top and just continues to get taller and taller and taller. Generally the foliage goes all the way to the ground unless somebody needs to trim it for some reason or another. Uh, say they want a little bit of uh, height underneath it so they can walk under it or it's too close to the house. But typically what you have is this tall tree that grows taller and taller and taller and there's an even branch distribution all the way around. Now what we're running into a lot lately are people that are stripping these trees out. They're taking all the branches and, and taking every other branch out and then stripping the remaining branches out so far so there's these little tufts of foliage on the ends. And I'm also seeing them strip them all the way out and then cutting back the tips so that they create these explosions of growth in the long run. Here's another example of a single leader tree. This is a, a deodar cedar. And it's a single trunk that goes all the way up and all the branches emanate from that single trunk. Same as this other small redwood. That's a real small one over here. We've got a grove of redwoods over here and every single one of these trees are just tall skinny trees with all the volume of branches. For the most part, you don't have to do anything to a redwood tree. And people that prune redwood trees generally do more damage than good. So I've done a couple of diagrams here that I want to explain to you. Hopefully you can see this here. This is my pencil drawing. So this is what a normal branch on a redwood should be like. It's a long slender branch with the branch lips that come off of it. The tip branches are a long single leader that emanates from the trunk all the way around. What often happens is people get up there and they strip these branches all the way out and just leave just all the brush on the end. And then the next step is these strip branches get much, much heavier out in here, creating sort of a witch's broom effect. Now that's often exacerbated when the branch is cut back and stubbed back. So the remaining branches become these massive big bits of growth, increasing the, the volume of tip weight that is much more than the tree can tolerate. Now I want to show you this little video. I just saw this company that I was just Oh, just so angered by when I when I drove by, uh, and you'll see what I mean. All right, I was driving down the road and I saw this being done to a giant redwood tree in our city, city of Saratoga. And what's going on here is this is a tree that has been topped in the past, and now this company I can see clearly. Uh, it's hard to see in the video, but the guy is wearing spurs on this tree, which you never do. You never trim, use, you know, climbing gaffs on a tree that you're you're trying to preserve. And they're stripping the tree out in abundance. And if you look over to the left here, they have another large redwood tree. And my fear is that these people are going to get up there and do the same thing to it. So, so what they're doing here is they're stripping out every other branch, defoliating the tree. And they're also chopping back the ends. And I look way up high and see lots of stubs and there's lots of tears and lots of... This is just a... This is a horrible problem. So what I see is a, a tree being screwed up. But the big problem is that the city does not enforce the... <sighs> How should I put it? The city doesn't go after the tree companies that don't know what they're doing. They go after the homeowners that screw things up, but they don't go after the, the companies that don't know what they're doing. This should not happen.